Hi everyone, today I will be making some delicious banana muffins. No eggs, I have to say that, it's gonna be so awesome. So uh, these are all of the ingredients that we will be needing for our muffins. Uh, we have some old fashioned oats, sesame seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, coconut oil, have our baking powder, vanilla, vanilla flavoring, rose water, cinnamon, some raisins, prunes, sugar, of course, bananas, <laughs> three bananas, flour, salt, uh, nutmeg, and some water. So you can find the entire recipe, the detailed recipe on my Pinterest account and all the instructions so you can go ahead and check that out. I will link that in the description. You can go ahead and make it there and also pin a photo when you make it. Hashtag food and combos with Cara. Okay so let's get into the video. Okay, so first we're going to prep our dry ingredients. So first we're going to add a cup of flour. And we're going to sieve this through a strainer, like so. Two teaspoon. I really like this this baking powder because it has this little um, level thing that you can level the spoon. Like put it in and you can level it. It's so cool. <laughs> Let's see some baking powder. Do that away. Next, we're going to add some ground cinnamon. So two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay. Next we're going to add some nutmeg. And with the nutmeg I have in my recipe a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. This amount. But I mean can just ground it, measure it out and take out your quarter teaspoon or you could just do like me and just uh, eyeball it. And that should be fine. And then the next thing we're going to add is some um, old fashioned oats. No, I'm not going to add add them whole as is. I'm going to blend this up into a powder. It doesn't have to be like full like blown up powder. You can have some chunks of it, but I'm going to put this in the blender and you're going to need half cup ground old old fashioned oats. Not the instant one. Should be good or you could just blend it a bit more so let's do that I'm going to um, pulse some flax seeds and the flax seeds are basically the replacement for our eggs so we're going to pulse that after so let me just add this to the rest of our dried ingredients add your oats to Bowl. you can sieve it as I said before like it doesn't matter if you have some oat, um, like some chunk of oats that's not actually pulse you can just 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 throw them in and that's good you are going to need a tablespoon of flax seeds Okay, 
are so pretty and so healthy. <laughs> a food processor this will get the flax seeds properly grown than a blender would so if you have a food processor then go ahead and use that instead I don't have one so I have to use my blender so again you'll see that some of my flax seeds will still remain whole and that is okay but if you don't have a food processor and you have a blender like me then you try to get it as grown as you can and if some are still whole then again that's fine as you can see they're somewhat grown um, let's get the rest of it out I don't want to waste anything okay and let's see how much of this actually comes out as Powder. not much as you can see most of my seeds like the barely hit the, the blade barely hit it like but it's okay so just throw that in and I think that's all of the dry ingredients that we need for this recipe so if I'm just double checking while I'm mixing this we have in this some ground old-fashioned oats, half cup, one cup of flour, third cup of sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, two teaspoon of baking powder. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if when I was talking to you guys, if I got distracted and put only one teaspoon of baking powder, I would have to. <laughs> just go back and watch this video just to ensure that i actually have the right amount of baking powder in this moving along we have two teaspoons ground cinnamon half teaspoon ground nutmeg we have some ground flax seeds and then the last dry ingredients that i think we need right now which won't be sieved through a strainer are pulsed in a blender are our chia seeds let me just get this to focus our chia seeds and sesame seeds and our chia seeds <laughs> Aren't these the prettiest little seeds I have ever seen? So that's it. And you want to combine all of these ingredients evenly. So just mix around and ensure everything is evenly combined. I think I should double check and see if I only put in like one teaspoon of baking powder because I really don't want it to happen. So, commercial break. I gotta check that. Oh, this wasn't focus. Stare, stare, stare. Yeah, combine it all. Yeah, <laughs> commercial break. Okay, guys, I am back and I was right. <laughs> if you watch about the video and everything, you realize that I only put in here one teaspoon of baking powder. No, good time to go back and look. So, put in the other teaspoon. Perfect. Oops. Didn't save that, but it's okay. No big deal. Alright, so, I'm going to catch that little mess up. Just mix this in again. And, um, let's go ahead to prepping our wet ingredients now i'm going to add 
some prunes and some raisins probably could classify these as dried ingredients but I I like when my raisins are are what should I say now I like when they are blended so they're very smooth more like a nice little syrupy kind of texture than actually whole inside of the muffins now if you like when your raisins are actually whole inside of the the um in your muffins then you can go ahead and just add um your raisins now obviously i don't think you're going to need like big <laughs> prunes like these just you know the, 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 the muffin like that so obviously you need to chop these if you like them um inside it whole as well just chop them um relatively fine and throw them in but i like to blend them and kind of get that little um smooth consistency to them so blend them out so that's what i'm going to do so let's grab the blender again and go ahead and prep all our um, wet ingredients 